Welcome, welcome everybody to this video, which, uh, damn, there's no title. Go back to normal view. Top 100 anime tier list. I try to find any other anime tier list, but this has the most. There's going to be a lot of not watched, and I'm going to be very judgmental. Oh, hold on, actually. Add, add row below. Make this, make this, make this gray or something, or like purple. Never watched. And then make that, that. Okay, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let, let's get straight into it. All right. I'm going to be hypercritical. Like, this is just my opinion at the end of the day. Bacano, I really want to watch this, but I haven't watched it yet. I think I watched an episode. Hold on, let me check real quick. I don't want to be doing it. I don't want to make this video like 50 years long. Kano, what's this about? Come on. Load, internet. I haven't watched it, but I, you know what? Forget it. Whatever. Internet doesn't want to load. All right, all right, all right. The big one Naruto is an S, Naruto Shippuden is an A. And let me explain. The first Naruto, I don't think any arcs missed. I loved that. That was the first anime I ever watched. But no arcs missed it was a lot of great story it was great action it was great comedy it introduced me to anime it made me fall in love with anime i had so many emotions during that show which i love naruto shippuden there's so many boring parts drag so many arcs where it feels like it's dragging and it's like so much filler and like the the final war arc you know at first i was like you know what it isn't that bad but then when I try to rewatch it, I was just like, yeah, this just it's it's too much, man. I'm sorry. It, it's still a good anime overall. It's still an A tier anime, but it's not like it's not the best. Naruto overall is S tier because of all the amazing moments in Naruto. There's way better moments in Shippuden than there is in the original Naruto, but still as a show, as as a concise show, Naruto is better than Naruto Shippuden, and I think that's 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 obvious. All right. Fairy tale. All right, personal choice. I would put it at S. This is the second anime that I ever watched. I watched Naruto and then I watched Fairy Tale. I love Fairy Tale. There's a lot of bullshit about it, but I'll be honest, it's a B. It's a B, and it it could drop down to a C because of the of the etchy. But if you ignore the etchy, I think it's a B. The story is great. The characters, the fighting, the action, the comedy, all of that. It's great. The problem with it is that it it's it's trying it's trying to be too horny, bro. Like I don't want to, like, I get that they think that that's how they're gonna get their audience, but bro, like nobody gives a shit. Like, just give us a good story with good action, comedy, and 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 just a good plot, something that I can rewatch, something like that, that I'll remember forever. I still love Fairy Tale because of because of just some you know I'm gonna have to drop it to see because of. Because it's just so much bullshit that that it could be better. It could be. I have to drop it a C. And this this is what S means. Let me like explain my tears for a second. S means this anime is literally amazing. Like little to no flaws. A. This anime is amazing, but there are some flaws that hold it back. B. This is a good anime. It's straight up. It's good. It doesn't give you everything that you want, but it's good. C. It's a good anime. It could be bad. It's kind of just average because it has great moments and then it has moments where it's crappy. And then D, this anime, it, it's just it's a bad anime. It's like there are some moments here and there, but overall it's just it's, it's boring. It's bad. I don't want to watch it. F, this shit literally sucks. That's the explanation of my tears, and that's why Fairy Tale is going to see. It's average because there's so many. It could it could have went so well, but it just fell off. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is, so I'm putting that in there. Cowboy Bebop. I watched the first eight episodes of Cowboy Bebop. Never watched anything else. For the first eight episodes, I'll give it a B. But I got bored after eight episodes, so I can't really say I watched that. I don't know what that is. I All right, Dragon Ball is different. I watched Dragon Ball when I was a kid, but I have not watched it since. As a kid, it was probably S-tier. I love that shit. But I don't remember a single thing other than... 
other than this random scene of this, I think it was Cell, of Cell, like, talking or some shit. I'll, I just, every time I think of Dragon Ball, I picture a head, a, a, a image of Cell in, in, in Dragon Ball Z. Let, let's, let's see if it has the image. This, no, not this image. I don't know. I, it's, I I can't find the image, but it's like there's an image of Cell in my head when I think of Dragon Ball Z. I, but I haven't watched it. I can't really give it a rating. I can't really say what it is because I I don't remember that shit, bro. Is this Evangelion? I don't know what that is. So I'm putting it there. Angel Beats. Never watched it. I think this is. I I know what this is, but I I think I watched either one episode or no episodes. This. What the hell is this? Why is everything so small? Hold on. Can I? I, I don't know what that is, man. I, I'm gonna have to put it here. All right. What the hell is that noise? All right, I thought somebody's knocking my door. All right, let, let's continue. This anime, I don't know the name of this anime. I think it's 50 episodes. I watched it. I enjoyed it. I think it was good. I think it's a B, straight up B. It was a good anime. I don't think it was amazing. I think it was just good anime. Like it doesn't give you everything you want. There are some dull moments, but I watched this anime. This is a horny ass anime too. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's a, she opens a maid cafe. Hold on, let me, let me look, look, let me look, look, look. Maid anime. Maid anime. Hold on, let's see. No, 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 no. Is it Love is War? Ah, oh, no, it's right here. Maid Sama. Yep. Yes, sir. I watched this anime. Yep, I watched the anime. Yep, it's 50 episodes too. Watch. Watch it be... Oh, this, it doesn't want to fucking load, apparently. Alright, whatever. I think it's Black Butler. I never watched it. I heard it was some gay shit, so I never watched it. I, don't, I, I, I think I gave it a bad rap. Oh, it's 26 episodes. That's cap. Isn't there another... It's only 26 episodes? I watched this entire anime, though. I watched the anime. Black Butler... Uh, I never watched it because I it was Yao I think I'm pretty sure Yaoi Yao I don't know how to say that Black Butler seven all right bro this shit does, doesn't want to load all right Samurai Champloo this is an A Samurai by the way these are in no order by the way I'm not gonna be like oh Naruto's the best A then Samurai no I'm not gonna put that in order that's too much work Naruto's amazing Samurai Champloo is one of the most concise complete anime that i ever watched it's literally per almost per ah, it's not hold on let me see action oh wow i was wrong it is not yaoi hold on let me let me type that watch is black butler anime was supposed to be no the short version of square does not publish any yaoi's a boy's love Oh, so it's not. Oh wow, I've been I've been lied to about Black Butler. My fault. I'm still not gonna watch it because I don't give a fuck about no Black Butler. What is it about? Action comedy? Uh, I don't like supernatural anime. It, you know what? It seems like I'm making an excuse not to watch it, but to be honest with you, I, I just don't want. Like I haven't watched anime in so long. I've been struggling to watch the new Mashley, bro. All right, all right, let's just get back to the topic. Samurai Champloo, one of the most consist concise anime that I've ever watched. It has a great soundtrack. It has great action. It has comedy. It has everything. There are some slow parts in the middle. There are some, yeah, you know, parts. But overall, as a story, as a plot, as an anime, like, if anybody asked me, yo, what anime would you recommend for people to get in? I would definitely recommend Samurai Champloo. It's one of the best. It's a great starter anime for sure. I think this anime, when you watch it, like, like, I feel like when you watch anime, you shouldn't watch anything that'll give you preconceived notions about anime. You should watch, like, different shows that give you an idea of what anime is about. So, like, you know, I'm gonna make a whole video on that. Let's just continue on. Alright, Kyle Bebop is an A. It's amazing. Fate, I have not watched the Fate series. I was planning to, and then I never did. I think this is High School DxD. I watched High School DxD. Uh, I got bored of it because it was just so much horny bro i don't want to see that bro for real like put that there i haven't watched that hunter hunter all right 
Hunter Hunter to everybody is an S. And to me, at one point, it was an A. But I'll be honest with you, I think it's just a B. And I know that's an unpopular opinion. Let me explain why. Hunter Hunter, I watched Hunter Hunter and I was just like, yo, I forced myself to like it because everybody else liked it. If you get what I mean. I didn't go into the, I, like, I went into the anime. I tried seven different times to watch the first episode, and I hated it every time. I got past that whale arc, I got past the boat arc, I got finally into the trials to get to the exam. I got to the exam, and I was like, okay, okay, it's turning up now. Oh, shit, this is amazing. I like the exam. Okay, the Zoltic family, I like that. Okay, this is not bad, I'm enjoying this, I'm enjoying this. Heaven's Arena, okay, I like this anime. York knew, ah, oh, wow, I'm... I'm still liking this anime. And then Greed Island. Wow. In the beginning, I was like, wow, this anime is amazing. This is literally so, like, like unique. Like, I don't think I've seen an anime like this before. And then comes the Chimera Ant arc. And I was just like, yeah, I don't really like it. And then I stopped watching it. And I just completely gave up on it after that. Like, after that, I never cared about it ever again. And then when I started getting into the anime community online, Hunter Hunter... The best anime ever. Chimera Ant. The best anime arc ever. And I was like, wow. Damn, I think I should like it. So I gave it another chance. And I, I forced myself to watch a lot of episodes that I didn't want to watch. And I kind of forced myself to like it. But I'll be honest with you. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I'm going to say that I don't like it. I think, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I'll give it an A. And the reason I'll give it an A is because literally the first and last part of the anime I hate. Literally everything in the middle is great. Everything else I just don't like. I just can't like it. That's that's it. Let's keep it at that. Bada boom, bada bing. This anime, I don't know what it is and I can't tell. I'll put that there. You know what? Let's just get rid of all the anime I don't know what it is. I don't know. I think I know what this is, but at the same time, I don't. I think I recognize this guy, but I can't see his fame. Batum, I never watched. I think this is an anime I know of, but I don't know. I tried watching Magi. I've tried it a million times. I've never watched it. You know, let's just put this here. Magi, I've tried a bunch of times. I don't. I. I. I, I, only, I only like Simbad, man. I. I can't really like get into Magi for some reason. Psychopaths. Never watched. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Attack on Titan. I don't know what that is. Oh, part timer. Lelouch Kuroko. Don't know what that is. I think it's Girl Lagan. I haven't watched that. I haven't watched this. I haven't watched this. Oh, I watched the regular. I haven't. Oh, I have. I haven't watched the regular. Irregular in high school, I watched like the first two episodes, and I was like, I didn't like, there was something off about it, so I, like, something with the animation or something, so I just stopped watching it. I, Terror in Residence, this is my anime that I need to watch, because apparently the same guy who made Samurai Champloo made this, so I'm gonna watch it soon. Tokyo Ghoul, I got spoiled on literally everything in this show. I am so mad, because I was told Tokyo Ghoul first season is literally one of the best seasons of all time. And I was so excited to watch it. And then I got spoiled on to literally... I got spoiled on who the bad guys were. And like, who's like a good guy and bad guy. And, and all... Yeah, so I, I can't watch it. I'm sorry. This, I don't know what that is. No Game, No Life, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, I think I know this, but I never watched it. I think this is Megas Bride. I never watched it. This is a harem anime. I think this is Black Lagoon? Or... Death, Death Parade, Death something. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched this. I haven't watched this. I don't know what that is. Food Wars, I've watched. I think this is Parasite. I haven't watched Parasite. I haven't watched Steins Gate. I've watched One Piece. I haven't watched this. Gintama. I think I know this, but I haven't seen it. Charlotte, Blue Exorcist. Don't, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Kill a Kill. Nope. I don't. I'll put this in F. Uh, don't know. I watched two episodes, not 20 seconds. Of, no, like halfway of this first episode, I, I stopped watching it. Never watched this film at all. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've heard about this anime. I heard it's really good, but I haven't watched it. I haven't watched the race. I watched Konosuba. I haven't watched Soul Eater. I got into three episodes and then I dropped it. High School of the Dead, I watched. My Hero, I watched. ReZero, I watched. I don't know what that is. I haven't watched that. I haven't watched that. I haven't watched that. I haven't watched Mob Psycho. I know I haven't watched Mob Psycho, but don't judge me on that. I love Mob Psycho. I have, I don't, not, not, 
That's that's cap. I don't love my cycle. I heard it's amazing. Why is there two Attack on Titans? Uh, we're judging by a show, but not not by the season. We already have my hero in here and Attack on Titans, so let's get rid of that. Uh, my hero. I think this is your name, Overlord. Why is there another my hero in here? Why is there two Overlords and two? Yeah, let's put that one there. I haven't watched Death Note or that or that or that or why is there so many like duplicates all right all right, all right. let's get into it let's get into it sword art online sword art online i'm only giving it a d because i got into this anime right and i watched i think it's one of the first anime i ever watched i think after like fairy tale then i watched something else and then i watched sword art online Sword Art Online, I watched this anime, I think the first half of the first season, I was like, wow, this seems like a really good anime, and then the second half, dog shit, I think, I, I think after the first half, they got out of the tower, and I think they ruined the show after that, and then season two sucked, I watched both seasons, by the way, the first half of the first season was literally the only part I buy, oh, what the hell is this? Oh, I just got a random email. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, Sword Art Online is a D. The first half of the first season is literally the only good part of this anime, even though there's a lot of bullshit in that part. And the rest of it is literally a stinking, heaping pile of dog shit. Bleach! Alright, Bleach is not a C. I'm just keeping it up here because I can't see the bottom. Alright, Bleach anime. The beginning. The beginning part, before they got to the Soul Society, I kind of struggled to keep watching. But as soon as they got into Soul Society, holy. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy. Ew, I need to sneeze. Okay. As soon as I got to Soul Society, it was literally an ass. That arc. Hold on, let me sneeze real quick. Alright, now I'm good. Alright, alright, alright. You know when you're about to sneeze and it doesn't let you? Like, bro, just let me sneeze and get this feeling out of my eyes. That first Soul Society arc, S. Everything after that, A. The last half, B. Uh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a B. Ah, it's a B, it's a B, it's a B, it's a B, it's a B. And the reason why it's a B is because the only part which I was heavily invested in was a Soul Society arc. Every arc after that, I was just kind of like, okay, what's next? Okay, okay, and the reason why I kind of don't like it is because the main character is literally everything. He's literally, he's literally everything, and it, I'm not trying to spoil, but he's everything. So it kind of is like, and yeah, it was made to be that way, and it was there's a certain reason why I know why, but I don't. I'm not gonna make excuses. I don't like it. I love the first part of this. I, I, not the first part. The first arc, Soul Society arc. I love that. Like, I think that is the best first anime arc ever. Like, I've never been, like, into a show that much with this first arc. But everything after that, like, I got to a certain point in the final battle where I was just like, bro, let me just get to the final battle, bro. I'm sick of this shit. Like, I just got bored. And that's why it's being a B, bro. There's some great moments. There's a lot of great things. The action, the comedy, and the series are phenomenal. But if they were talking about the music, it's an A. I think Bleach has the best soundtrack in all of anime. Uh, second best soundtrack in all of anime. It's really amazing. But overall, it's a B. I can't really give it anything higher than that. Attack on Titan. All right. I'm spoiling the fuck out of this. I don't give a fuck. Attack on Titan. I watched the first season. The first nine episodes, I'm pretty sure. First time I watched it. I was not online. I was not reading no manga. It was one of the first anime I watched. I was watching Naruto, Fairy Tale. Uh, I think I watched My Hero before Attack on Titan. I watching so many anime. I was I was so lit into anime, and then I got into Attack on Titan. I was like, holy crap! That intro was lit. The show has a different vibe to it. I like it. And then I'm spoiling. I was like, please don't be a Titan. Please don't be a Titan. I don't want him to be a Titan. That's going to be the most cliche shit ever. Because the, the first episode, as soon as like everything happened, the first thought in my mind was watch him turn into a Titan. 
and then he died and I was so happy that he died because I was like okay the new main character is probably gonna be Armin and how Armin changes his life from being a bitch and like and, and, and being bitched on to realizing, yo, Aaron's gone. I can't be no bitch. Like, I have to be that guy now. I have to protect Mikasa and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I have to defeat the Titans. Whatever. Nope. That dude's a fucking Titan. I was so mad. I dropped the show. I never watched it afterwards. And then, peer pressure. Attack on Titan is the best show of all time. Yada, yada, yada. I was like, I'll have to, I have to give it a second chance. I watched the entire first season. I watched the entire first season. Oh no no no! I was arguing with my boy. Let me let me explain. I was arguing with my boy, and this was when Attack on Titan first came out, and there was no, there was literally no freaking like, uh, there was no like a second season, and it came out, and it was like two years after b uh, between first and second season. So I'm waiting. I, I I'm like I'm like bored of like watching anime. And, like, this dude is pleading with me. He's like, yo, watch Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is literally the best show ever. It's better than all these other shows. It's better than this, this, that, yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, yo, I don't fuck with that show. I'm not about to watch it, right? But he pleaded with me. I was like, all right, bet. I'll give the first season a chance. I watched the first season, begrudgingly. I didn't enjoy it. The first season, after after what happened, I kind of just, like, I'll be honest. I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't tuned in. I, I gave it a C. Second season comes out. And then I think the third season came out, and then I started hearing so much hype about this anime and how it's the greatest anime of all time, and this, this, and the third, and I was like, yo, this anime is so mid. It's just a mid, like, I don't fuck with it at all. Like, I don't like it, because it's that, just that one moment where he didn't die. Like, that shit really pissed me off, and I held it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw away all these preconceived notions, and I'm going to rewatch it. I rewatched it. I enjoyed it. I was like, man, maybe I was wrong. I watched second season. I enjoyed it. Third season. No, 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 no. I didn't watch third season. I watched second season. Third season was coming out at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third season was coming out at the time. And the episodes were coming out every week. And people were hyping the shit up. And so I was like, all right, baby, baby, baby. I caught up. And then I was like, you know, fuck it. I'm not waiting for no anime. I'm reading the manga. I started reading the manga. And then I got to a point where I was like, holy shit. I don't know what's going on. It was like the Marley, Eldian, whatever nonsense. I was like, uh, let me just wait for the anime to come out. And then I dropped it. And then I never picked it up ever again. And I, I think it's been like five, six years since that moment. So, overall as an anime, when I first watched it, I put it at a D. But I'll put it at an A. Uh, no, I'll put it at a B. I'll put it at a B. Overall, I think it was a good anime. When I left my preconceived notions, I was like, you know what, whatever. I can't control something. Let's just let it happen. I, I thought it was at a B. Next... Uh, Devil's a part timer. Ah, uh, this is a C. This is average as fuck. There are some funny moments, but this is just like one of those anime where you watch, put in the background. You don't gotta think too much. A lot of weird shit, but you know it's whatever. Kuroko no basket. I don't know. I don't know. It's not an S. It's either A or B. It's A or B, and I'm gonna put it at B. And I'm putting it at B because the third season wasn't it. I'll be honest with you. Third season. The last match wasn't as hype as I, I I hoped it to be. I'll be honest with you. Literally, there were so many great moments in season one and season two. The third season, like I think, what everything was leading up to was a like a like the lead up was great. The build up was great. I mean, the build up was great. The payoff, not so much. It was kind of just like meh. I don't care. Like Akashi's team was so like like it did not like Almine Kisei. Uh, Midorima and Kurosaki but I were all oh oh damn I thought I fucked it up or were all way better games than the Akashi one I'm sorry Akashi one I ah, let the end oh team zone I don't know, but like bro it was it was just meaty bro like I was just like yo come on bro like like come on dog like it was just dead like like you know what I mean like I, I kind of just you know I don't the build-up was great it's just that last game it kind of just it, it was so like Lackluster, like I didn't get anything out of me. No game, no life. I really put this at a fucking F. I got so many like recommendations to watch this anime, and I 
I'm not putting it at F. I'll put it at C. I can't lie. I can't. You know, I'll put it at D because the sister, that, that weird sister shit was weird. But I got so many recommendations to watch this anime and how it's one of the best animes ever. And there's so many. Uh, I watched it and I was like, this shit is sucks. Like, I didn't like it at all. Like, this shit sucks. Like, there were some cool, cool, cool moments in there. But overall, it, it sucked, man. It's simple. Like, I hate when people try to hype up shit. Like, it sucked. Straight up, like I didn't like it at all. Not even a little bit. Like, no, no, no. That's cap. That's cap. If I didn't like it at all, I would put it F. There were some cool moments, cool games in there. But when I, I remember when I watched this, I didn't like it. I thought it was like overhyped as fuck. Let's continue. Seven deadly sins. Seven deadly sins. When it first came out, it was an A. First season was an A. Second season afterwards, or whatever season they stopped focusing on the anime and they started making like a fairy tale, it became a C. I think everybody knows they try to make it horny as fuck, like just like fairy tales. Like just stick to the story, man. You have something there, stick to the story. I didn't, I didn't like, bro. Like, I read the manga to this, bro. I read the manga. Like, I think there's like 300 plus chapters of Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. All right. How many episodes? 24. Let's go to the manga adaptation. All right. Manga. 364. I watched 300 chapters of this. I read 300 chapters of this manga, and I enjoyed it. The anime, I did not enjoy it. Anime is kind of just dead. I'll be honest, it's just dead. Like I, I can't say nothing else. It, it really was lackluster. It gave. It, it, the first season was good, but afterwards it just fell off. Like I didn't care about this shit no more, and it became super horny. And it, whenever an anime becomes horny, or like etchy or whatever, it, it just turns me off. I just don't like it at all. All right, Food Wars. All right, Food Wars. Is this? This was a, a B, but then they made it so horny. It's even worse than these two. I'm putting it at a D. This shit, bro. There is no reason when you eat a fucking a, a, a plate of food that your titty should be popping out. Like, you know why I watched this anime? Because I wanted to learn more about food, and I liked the tournament style. It was a tournament style with food involved. So you're learning about different dishes. You're learning how to prepare different different dishes. There's some comedy in there, and there's a tournament. So it's like you feel like the sports element in there. Plus, you feel like you learn something, and and there's it's it's pretty funny, and the animation's good. So it's like the animation's basic, but it's like, bro, like just why you had to make it horny? Like the, the the amount of horny they did, I should put it in F. I'll be honest with you, but I'm gonna keep it at D. One Piece. All right, all right, all right. Let's not talk about it. One Piece is the greatest anime, second greatest anime of all time. It's literally one of the best anime. I'm putting it there just because. But One Piece, there's like as an overarching story, as a plot, the characters, the powers, the comedy, the situations, the story, the music, the plot, everything about it is amazing. There are some down moments, yes, but like. Even the fillers are good in One Piece. There are some like it feels like the anime is dragging the it out, but that's just because of the pacing issue. If this the anime didn't have a pacing issue, literally the greatest anime of all time, period. But it's still a great anime. I love it. I think it's one of the best. I love Luffy. I love all the Straw Hats. I love the characters. I I don't like the villains at all. There are some villains which I think are cool, but overall, like the villains, I hate them. They they. I hate the villains. I hate, like, a lot of things. Bro, this video is getting long as fuck. Let me just continue. All right. Villains, yeah. All right, let's continue. All right. So, One Piece is one of the best. I love it. It's amazing. And then, now, we have the best here. Gintama, the best anime of all time. If you want to cry, Gintama will make you bawl your eyes out. If you want to laugh, Gintama will make you laugh your fucking ass off. If you want to get hype, Gintama will make you so hyped that you're falling off your chair. It, it gives you every emotion possible. The comedy, the funniest an anime ever. The action, not the best action. I'll be honest with you. The action is badass. It's cool. But overall, I'll say it's it's action where... It's action where it's A tier action. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'll be honest. The action is A tier. The music, comedy, storyline, and characters are S tier. The action is literally just the only part where it's like, yeah, the story around the action is good, but like the actual like battle scenes and stuff like that, I don't think those are like the best of the best. I think they're amazing, but they're not the best of the best. 
And that's, I think, where they need to work on. I stopped the anime as soon as I heard they were finishing it. And I was like, I'm not watching it. I can't watch the ending. And then I dropped it. And ever since then, I haven't watched it. But I've rewatched it a bunch of times. I just be watching episodes randomly. Especially the Gintama Hichikata episodes. I love those. But yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite anime. It is my favorite anime. It's the best anime of all time. I love it. Blue Exorcist. All right. Blue Exorcist started off well. And then it just stopped. What happened to the second season? Why are you asking me? I don't fucking know. What happened to it? What happened to it? First season, it wasn't bad. I was like, okay, I like the story. I like the characters. I like the powers, especially. I like that blue fire with the, the guys. Some, use, some guys use guns. Some guys use swords. I like that there's a human and demon world. I, I like that he's the son of a demon and yada, yada, yada. Like, I like the plot. Like, I like it. I like that plot, but that's two seasons, and the second season was kind of meh. What happened? Shit just fell off. Like I'm putting it at C because like I, I put it at B. I put it at B. I put it at B because the first season was great, but second season was meh, and that's it. Like they didn't continue the story whatsoever. It could have been an S, could have been an A, but they didn't continue that shit. They just let it rock. But whatever. Let's continue. Full Metal Alchemist. Fumar Alchemist is an A. It's it's peak A. It's peak A because it's literally the best A that you'll ever see. It's the most concise anime ever. It gives you everything that you need. But I just feel as though that part from like 30 to like 60. 30 to like 50 something. 35 to like 50. Those episodes, they kind of just nah. Oh, first of all, let's talk about the both animes. Fumar Alchemist, brother. Fumar Alchemist, I watched it. And then I got to a point where a dead character was talking. And I was just like, huh? I don't understand this at all. And I was realized it was a filler. So then I, I dropped it. But the first anime wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. The second anime, it starts off so well. It just gets to the like middle end-ish. Like that part where it's like, can we get this over with? Like I feel like you guys are dragging this a little too long. But... Everything though about this, like, 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 that your story is just so concise. Like, like you'll never find. I don't think you'll find an anime where everything just fits in and boom. The action scenes, holy. The comedy, I'm laughing. The the art, the animation is good. The dynamics between characters, I like it. The music, the plot, I like it. it's concise. Only problem I have is. I had to force myself, I remember specifically episode 33, I was stuck on it for so long because I just, I couldn't get past it because I was just so bored of it. I was like, come on, can we just get through this? Like, come on, you know? And finally we got through it. And that's why it's getting an A, it's not a B. It's not a S, I mean, Haikyuu. Haikyuu, I have to put it in B because it's the best uh, sports anime. The, bro, season three, this is complete opposite of Kurokuro Basket. Season one, amazing season two amazing even better than season one and then season three that 10 episodes of literally just one game i didn't think it was possible like i was itching to get to the next episode of season three like i was like fighting for it and then i didn't even like wait for the next anime uh, season i just I, I read the manga and i finished it and i i didn't like the way it ended but this anime only we're talking about i loved it it's a great anime i think everybody should watch it it's one of the best animes you'll watch. You don't like volleyball anime? You don't like sports anime? Just watch it. doesn't matter. Just watch it. Don't talk to me. Just watch it. Oh, I don't like sports? I don't like... Uh, just watch it. Stop talking. Just watch it. Just watch it. One Punch Man. Oh, yeah. One Punch Man. It's one of the best animes ever, in my opinion. I think this is the most simple anime that you'll love. Like, anime that'll make you jump out of your seat falling. Anime that'll, that'll get you jumping. Anime that'll get you, you know... Bada bing, bada boom. You know what I mean? Like, like, how do I explain? Like, anime that, it's just, I watched, like, when the first season was out, I watched it in dub. I watched it in sub. I watched every OVA. I watched every special. I think there was a movie that I watched. And then the second season, I didn't wait for the second season. I read the, I read the manga weekly. This is one of the greatest series because I just feel like it's just so simple. Like, they don't really... Like, the comedy is just so easy. It's hilarious. The action scenes are cool and the animation is great. And the music is... I love it. Like, it's just... Like, I don't think there's anything deep into the story. There is an overarching plot, yes. But it, it's, it, it's a good anime. 
it's just good. Point and simple. Like, I, I, I can't really say nothing. All right, uh, Konosuba, not put that at D. Or I'll put it at C. It was average. I didn't really give a fuck about it, Konosuba. I watched the first season, and I was like, yo, for Isekai anime, this shit kind of just sucks. I'll be honest with you. Like, I didn't enjoy it at all. Like, yeah, I'll put it at D, in fact. Like, I've watched, I, I've read Isekai manga, and then I've watched this, and I didn't like it. This is what slime, like, slime is like the peak of Isekai, yeah, but this just, it just, it's just, it could be an F too, like, I didn't like it at all, like, I didn't like the setting, I didn't like the characters, I'll put it an F, bro, like, I didn't like it, Konosuba, it was a little bit funny, but it just got boring, and it was just, it was just not funny to me, and I didn't enjoy it at all, it was a boring Isekai, like, I didn't get any excitement from it at all, like, Isekai should get you out of that, alright, erased. Arrest is an A. It could have been an S, but the last like couple of episodes kind of like it kind of felt like it dragged on a little bit. It's 12 episodes. It's a concise, simple story. It's great. The plot is amazing. The story, the characters, everything you need to know is great. I just didn't like the way like it took forever to end. That's I. It, it felt like it was taking forever to end, and that's the only thing I have a problem with. Everything else is literally great. That's why it's an A, and it's not a S. But it's it's a great. Check it out. Like literally, if I'm gonna make my own video, but this is one of the animes that I'd recommend for people to start watching. Like, if you want to get into anime, watch this anime. Yeah. Uh, High School of the Dead. High School of the Dead. It's a B, but I'll drop it down to a C because of the fucking horny, bro. The horny really kills it. The story is like, yo, like a zombie story. Like, this is the only zombie anime that I know of, and it was great, like in the beginning. But first of all, these guys handling guns, not realistic at all for one. This guy with a sniper rifle not missing, like, come on, G. And then, like, all the horny involved in it, it just got, like, come on, like, yeah, I'll probably drop it to a D, in fact. Yeah, I'll probably drop it to a D. Yeah, there's really nothing I enjoyed about it. Where's High School DXD? Did I put High School DXD? Did I put High School DXD? I'll check that at the end. Oh, there it is. High School DXD. Yeah, just put that at the same level. The two high school animes are both these. If you want horny, watch it, but really, it's just not that good. Alright, My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia is a solid B anime. The first season was, like, kind of slow. The second season is where it really picked up. The third season was, like, okay. And then after that, it kind of just, nah, it just went into average. And I hear now that this final arc is really lit. So I'm going to probably get back into it, watch season 4 and 5, and, uh, season 5 and 6, because the last season I watched was season 4, and it kind of just fell off at season 4. It's a great manga. It's a great anime, but there are its downfalls. There are things that I just don't enjoy. It, 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 it has never touched S level. It has touched A. It has touched A, but it, it's a B anime. Let's be honest with you. It's not, it's not, a, it's not average. It's good anime. There are great moments. It's just, it doesn't give you everything that you want. Especially with Midorima, like, uh, Izuku. Like, I feel like they've probably developed him a lot now, but to the point where I was, I was just kind of sick of him, I'll be honest with you. Like, I just wanted Bakugo to be developed. And that's it, but, yeah, Midor, like, Izuku, like, I, I started, like, I hate this guy so much, like, Izuku, because, like, the like, Kyu just developed him. He's supposed to be a hero, not a bitch. Like, every main character in anime is, like, just a bitch for so... Because they want, the peop, like, they want bitches to relate to this guy. And it's, like, not bitches as in, like, like girls. But, like, bitches as in people who are, like, you know, normal and, like, kind of afraid and shy and shit. They want people like that to break. Because there's a lot... I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just get on with it. It's a B. Let's just move on. Uh, ReZero. Okay. I'll put a ReZero at C. And the reason why, I, I can't put it, I'll put it at B. I can't put it at C. The reason I put it at B is because I was not expecting that anime. I was just trying to watch a regular isekai and be done with it. And it's like, oh yeah, this guy could come back to life. Nope. This is heavy. This is an actual story. They're taking the isekai, the isekai plot and making a story out of it. And this shit is actually serious. People die. People like, you know... This is a real story. This is not a little bullshit. And I was like, okay, yeah. And it got to a point where I was like, yo, like, I was not expecting it. I was not in the mood for a real anime. I was just trying to watch some isekai bullshit. So it caught me off the wrong way. But it, it's still a good anime. I have to rewatch it sometime when I'm ready for that mood. But, like, I was not in the, I was not in the headspace to watch an anime where, it, like, where, like, like, it'll fuck me up mentally. Like, 
I wasn't in that headspace. I was just trying to watch an isekai that was regular, and this is one of the highly rated isekais. I didn't read any reviews or comments because if I read a review or comment, people are like, that shit's gonna fuck with my head, and I'm gonna, you know? Alright. Konosuba again. Oh, what the fuck? Why is my inspect always getting on? Konosuba put it there. My hero again put it there. Akame got killed. I put it at a C because I watched it and then I got spoiled that everybody died and then I just never watched it again. So I just put it at C. It's not really a real ranking, but yeah. Your name. Your name. I'll put it at a B because the first half of the movie, first of all, the animation, the music, the, the, the cinematography of the anime is beautiful. But halfway through, I got mad confused and I didn't know what was going on. But it was still a good movie. The first half was amazing. The second half was confusing to me. But it was still a good movie. I didn't enjoy it. I, I didn't mind it. I mean, Overlord. All right. Overlord, I think, is one of the best isekai anime out there. It does exactly what I want it to do. It's a great... It's an isekai... If, in terms of isekai, it's an S tier. In terms of regular manga and anime, I think it's A. I think it's still good. I think it holds up. I think it's enjoyable to watch. It's great action. The characters are funny. The plot, the overarching plot, the characters, the dynamics like the the animation is a little bit where it gets iffy sometimes like it's madhouse and i'm like yo come on why you're fucking up the animation so much but overall it's not bad overall it's not bad i enjoy it i like it i don't have any problems with it i don't have any qualms with it if that's what people say but yeah wasn't bad uh yeah i'll keep keep it at eight and then the last but not least lelouch i watched the first season i'll put the first season as an a first season as an a and then i got spoiled on the second season and i never watched it after that and i still remember the spoil so i'm gonna watch it when i forget what the spoil is and i'm gonna spoil it right now basically uh overlord like at the like the main bad guy he kills himself to make his friend the good guy if you get like he took over and then made somebody kill uh, i i but I don't know how to explain the spoil, but it ruined the show for me because it's like yeah, he died. Like what the fuck? Like why would you tell me that? Like why would I like it? No, 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 nobody told me that. It was in the comments. It was in the comments of the end of the first season. I was so mad. That's why you never read the comments when you're watching anime. Read it the second time, not the first time. Never, never read the comments. I've been spoiled by comments on anime and manga pages for so many animes. It's crazy to me. All right, final ranking. Yeah, S looks good. A looks good, B, C, D, you know, I just dropped these two down, bro, ah, nah, I can't do that, they're not complete dog shit, this is not complete dog shit either, this is not, but I, I'll be honest, these two, yeah, I'll put this one down there, I'll be honest with you, and I'll put this one down there, I, I'll keep it like that, I'll be honest with you, I, I'll put it like that, let's look, let's look at these real quick, Bacano, no, Magi, no, 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 Dragon Ball, Tokyo Ghoul. I think I saw something that I would watch. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Assassination Classroom. I'll put that at an F if I want to. Uh, I'm psycho. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's my list right there. Out of the 100 anime I've watched... Maybe 35, 40, but this is not all the anime I watch. I've watched, like, like I think I've at least 70 animes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. <sighs> this is my top 100 anime, or top 30 to 40 to be exact. Uh, I think this is 30, actually. Top 30 anime. I don't, I don't, I haven't watched all these. There are some animes that I have watched, like I just said. Why am I repeating myself? But, yeah, anime is, is good, man. You know what they say, man. Anime is only, only real, what? What am I talking about? Anime is great. Watch it. Uh, watch these shows. Give me your opinion on my list. I don't care if you think it's horrible. Just uh, make your list and like, just tell me what 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 anime is S tier for you. I don't want to hear your entire list in the comments. Just tell me what S tier anime is for you, and that'll be all. Yo, like, like the video, comment, subscribe. I'm probably gonna do an isekai tier list and like a manhwa tier list in the future so look out for those comment please comment i want to know you guys' thoughts on this and like the video dislike it i don't care show some engagement y'all tell me what you think watch the video to the whole to the end all right that's it peace out